interrupt all radio and television programs for an indefinite period. Please keep your radio and television sets turned on. This is an emergency. I repeat, this is an emergency. Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a grand solar minimum update. Wednesday, April 24th, 1 a.m. Mountain Time, 2019. Now, we're playing this update on Magnetic Reversal News tonight because we've been demonetized for the month, in case you haven't known. And I'm going to rebroadcast this on Oppenheimer Ranch late tomorrow after thousands watch it so we can get some revenue because these updates take time. Take time out of my schedule to prepare for the future. Take time out of my family schedule preparing for our house. And it's time I put my best time where it's most needed and that's for my future and the future of humanity which is why I'm doing these updates and which is why I'm showing you the GFS snowfall through May 4th now it's not May 4th we have to worry about it's April 27th and 28th and 29th hitting most of the Northeast again hitting some of the regions where apple blossoms will be out and burying all of Wisconsin and Michigan. <laughs> it's insane. The upper Midwest is going to be hit heavily. Looks like a slight blizzard might run through western Nebraska. Kiss my ass. May 1st through 3rd. So these patterns are going to develop. North Dakota is going to get hit with some... Uh, Moderate snow through Wednesday, May 1st. Coming on April 29th and 30th, it looks like. But these patterns are very significant. Heavy snow in southern Wyoming, northern Colorado. Areas picking up four or more feet, according to these models. Which will be breaking wet records. But we're not here to scare you. We're here to prepare you. So keep calm. Because it is boom time. The thousand year sunspot model updated through April 2018. With new sunspot numbers. Zarkova's information is imploring you to prepare now. The lime green is post model. And we're living the 2020 minimum now. And for the next year, we're going to be at the bottom. And it's not going to get better for decades. The magnetic reversal comes in 2046, according to Doug Vogt. I believe that the magnetic reversal may happen as early as 2035. But the growing season from 2028 to 2033 is going to be devastating. And your lives will change. And there is not much time to prepare. Less than five years. Less than five years from the time I make this video. To prepare. But keep calm and prepare for what's coming. Mississippi River flooding leads to ripple effects causing Moline flash flooding. <coughs> Cosmic rays in effect. Quebec flooding blamed on spring thaw. Well, the global warming crowd told us for the last two decades that we'd never see snow. Now we have record snow thawing and heavy rain. Thousands of homes are hit in Quebec. Look at that. People are evacuated by firefighters in a boat in Saint Marie, Saturday, April 20th. The Champ de Ré River burst its banks after heavy rain. Put another croissant on the toaster oven for me. Flooding in the heartland. It's not over. Like a plover in Dover, Delaware. It's been a little over a month since the massive flooding hit the heartland and water levels continue to be an issue. The Wall Street Journal chart reports the Missouri River remains above flood stage in a 160 mile stretch from Nebraska City, Nebraska to St. Joseph, Missouri. Look at that devastation. Flooding everywhere, even in Freiburg, Maine. It's insane. That's from record snows, not from global warming. It's from a changing magnetosphere, the shutting down of our sun, and a grand minima upon us. Freiburg police say the Saco River and Lowell Pond overflowed Monday night, fed by rain and melting snowpack. Well, rain and snow melt combined to push the Saco River and Lowell Pond in Freiburg over the banks Monday night, damaging about 25 seasonal homes. On Walden Pond much? 
Oh, hell! Guess what season's quickly storming our way? Oh, that was delicious. Hail season, and we're talking hail damage. Stratospheric radiation is continuing to increase. It will continue to increase throughout your lifetime. But for the next six months, it will be up, 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 and away. Nonprofit farm in Buffalo Gap devastated by hail. Holy macaroni. We don't like that. And this is Buffalo, Texas. And we don't even get a play here. A local family farm has been devastated by Tuesday's severe weather. Hugaroot family farms reported significant damage to many of their plants, some of which they say will not be able to replant. And there might even be a story about it. The police worry that it almost the entire big country this afternoon and evening, and several of those storms reached at or near severe levels. This is a video of new offenders from Buffalo Gap. You can, you can tell, tell the hail had, had the potential, potential to do a lot of damage. We'll show you what we mean in just a minute. But heavy rain also causing problems. One of our Abilene viewers, Ty Rendon, sending us this video on Cypress Point and Hoy Lake Drive in the Fairway Oaks area of South Abilene. She you said it was like driving, driving down, down a river a rather than a street. And also a picture of Clack Street and Cat Claw Drive and we may see more scenes like this one. God, I hate that when I go off. And you people think I'm never coming back on. <coughs> Golf ball size hail marks Midland. And that's Texas, which is not a schmack, says severe thunderstorms moving through Midland County causing damage from golf ball size hail. Says inside and undercover people with pinnacle balls that are fluorescent that are almost the size or about the size of those balls. Do you have balls that are that size? Let's light them up. Stab time, kids. Dab it up. Do it. Dad style. Holy macaroni. This is definitely dab worthy. Do a dab, it's hail time. GFS model showing. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 26 states with snow in all of Canada, which is not looking good for planning anything, and that's through May 4th. Are you picking it up? Because we've just put it down, white screen style. Russia's brutal Arctic blast takes out many all-time temperature records. Thank you, Cap Alon, over at Electroverse. Documenting Earth changes during the next grand solar minimum and pole shift. While a slice of northern and western Europe bask in warm African air dragged up from the south, most of, most of eastern and southern regions of the continent were descended upon by a brutal Arctic air mass from the north. 
<laughs> this is not only predicted by the grand solar minimum pattern with a meridional flow of that jet stream bringing Arctic air all the way down into the tropical region while hot tropical moisture moves all the way north into the 50 degree north latitude region. This contrast serving as yet more evidence of the weak and wavy meridional jet stream associated with low solar activity. Someone's picking up what we're putting down. Check out the latest Greenland ice sheet totals. Blue regions growing. There are no melting areas currently on Greenland, which is totally frozen. Record levels of build here. And we're about to get some shardicles completely debunking that, claiming the exact opposite of the facts, which you're looking at here on the right, which is coming from the Danish Meteorological Institute live from their sensors on the ice sheet. In Benzichuk, minus 6.3 degrees was recorded, which broke the previous record in 1978 by a whopping 2.5 degrees. El Ton dropped to negative 1.7, enough to beat the 90-year-old record. Minus 4.4 was measured in Frolovo, beating the 1945 record when World War II was in effect. In Dombrovskovsk, minus 8.2 smashed the former record of negative 4.9 set back in 1998. <clears throat> at the peak of global warming and in the village of Yatochkornitkuloshkai, the mercury plummeted to minus 8.3 degrees, breaking the previous record of negative 6.1 set back 63 years ago. Ho, ho, Russia. Those chicks are hot. I love it when a little ice forms on the lash. Hawaii's islands are under threat from rising sea levels. Experts warm. Damn. Hawaii Islands are under threat from volcanoes, <laughs> not climate change. Word to your mother. National Volcano Warning System gained steam, and there may be some steam emanating from Yosemite in the near future. It took more than a decade, but a bill that funds U.S. volcano monitoring efforts and establishes a single system became law on 12th of March. Early in the morning of 17th May 2018, Hawaii's Kilauea volcano unleashed a torrent of ash more than 3,000 meters into the sky. And I was probably getting high. 1980, Mount St. Helens eruption on the right. And now we're possibly set up for a National Volcanic Early Warning and Monitoring System Act. Passage of Public Law Number 116-9 authorizes funding for the implementation of the end views. The bill recommends that Congress, during the annual appropriations process, appropriate $55 million over 2019 through 2023 when crop losses will be at their peak and just, oh! Good times, good times to the USGS to carry out volcano monitoring duties prescribed in the bill. Well, we don't recommend prescriptions, but if it's volcano monitoring, I'll take two. Two earthquakes shake the Philippines, at least 16 dead. And that is bad news. There's a decapitated saint. As resident look, residents look at the rumble of St. Catherine Church on Tuesday, Priests rape children all over the place, including the toppled head of the statue. Following a 6.1 magnitude earthquake in Papanga province, many are blaming that on the rapist priests, actually triggering the earthquake. Now the powerful 6.4 earthquake struck the Philippines on Tuesday because the Pope is protecting rapist priests the day after different tre trembler token collapsed the buildings, some said. Proper prior planning prevents rapist priests from toppling buildings. Just eliminate them from the roster. I know people who live in Gloucester. Seismic update, major uptick worldwide. Especially in the western arch of the Pacific, of the Pacific Rim. We're talking magnitude 6.6, 6.4, Officially, as the USGS Downgrade Service reports on it in Philippines, killing many, many people. And this is after 6.0 in the Fiji region, which we predicted 24 hours prior. Popping off. No major tsunamis or ripples. And we have some major 
major uptick in the Cascadia rupture zone, 3.7 Ferndale, followed by a 3.9 in Bagdon. We had some 4.0 activity up north and a cacophony of quakes in the San Andreas region, as well as three quakes over the last 72 hours in Alabama and the New Madrid zone. Oh, <laughs> smoke a bone. Can we move this, please? Out of the way, thank you. Whew. Oh, 15 minutes, 22 seconds in. <clears throat> Have you heard about the Mars quake? NASA's InSight lander feels its first red planet trembler. Trembler, tremor. <laughs> Remember that movie with Kevin Bacon? Isn't he always in a movie? Holy. Is there a movie here? Can we watch it? Scientists just felt the red planets move under their feet. Yeah. Mars much? And there's a likely Mars quake. Horizontal amplitude at SEIS dash BBBB. The amplitude at SEIS SP. Boom! There is the likely Mars quake, quake happening at 937. Mars time, UTC. Back on April 7th. Here we see the robotic arm motion. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Let's do that again. Can we do that again? No, let's go back, please. <laughs> Let me go back. Oh! Would you just look at it? Listen. Shh. That's worth it. That's worth the whole 16 minute, 50 second wait. <clears throat> now, scientists just felt the red planet move under their feet and it was just a little mini microquake. I don't know why they're celebrating. We're waiting for the big one here. Worldwide Volcano News Update. Ducono, Reventador, Nevados de Chilan, Ibico, and more. Ibico erupting today. Ducono, minor eruption. Reventador, minor. Nevados de Chilan, sporadic week of missions. We also have Fuego, Kluchaskov, Krakatoa is about to blow a Chivalouche, and others. And even Atuco, Antuco. Sounds like my Italian brother. Holy mother of another. Good times. Beauty and the Beast, Aurora is captured by astronomer who warns that the solar system behind it could one day devastate every electrical device on Earth, as well as Diamond, Lee Wilbarger, and others. <sighs> Almost a year ago, Juan Carlos Castado's snap of the 2016 Aurora was made by NASA's picture of the day. The beautiful northern lights appeared, but also appeared to show hot blondes in the right corner. There's the dragon in the sky. Thunderbolt of the Gods. And it's coming to a Faraday cage that you don't have and destroying your electrical equipment. Soon! <coughs> Let's check out Discover Solar Wind. Boom! Phi angle shifting major in the last 12 hours. Back Earth to Sun. We had a density spike here, which is a coronal hole coupling, which is associated by snow on the shovel building up and then the solar wind following. Now this is going to drop off minor geomagnetic instability. If you're in Canada, in the eastern provinces, look up, you dumbasses. Put on those Aurora glasses. Round trip flights to Hawaii just dropped at $248 from Portland. If you're a white supremacist or a racist, my God, you get the best deals on flights. Right to where volcanoes erupt. They're not violent, so I recommend you go there. If you want to go to Hawaii and you're a cheap prick, go there now. It's only $250 from Portland. Greenland ice sheet melting even faster than feared due to warming climate and fear mongering. Holy sh! <coughs> I have. I thought the. I, I thought it was growing. Oh, it is. Oh, they're full of shit. In fact, since the beginning of April, Greenland's mass ice budget has been gaining for three straight weeks, and we've only barely fallen down below the midpoint. We're still in mass gain. We've been in mass gain for the entire period back to last September. 
So Greenland's ice sheet has been gaining since last September and has been record gain for the last five weeks. And of course they're going to play, put this article out today. It's melting faster than ever because it's really gaining faster than ever in the last five weeks. Mass gain at record levels, especially for not this week, but the three weeks prior. Oh my God. Up to nine gigatons a day back on the second week of April. So this article is a short article. Do not even read it. Look at the data coming from sensors on the Greenland ice sheet thanks to the Danish Meteorological Institute. Whew, thank God science is actually working some places. Did you hear that the federal marijuana legalization is close? Because of this canopy acreage deal. Look at that. 14 karat gold cannabis leaf. Oh my God. Someone buy that for me on a pendant for Lee Khan. Sometimes it's necessary to read between the lines. And when psychopaths are calling on the FBI to investigate me, they mean them. And they will be going to jail forever. Well, at least until society collapses and they get back out and we have to kill them. But when the largest cannabis company in the world enters into a multi-billion dollar deal with a well-known American cannabis firm, one that is set to take effect only after the federal government repeals marijuana prohibition, it's hard not to consider the possibility that someone knows something and that maybe, just maybe, we are closer than we think to living in a time when marijuana is taxed and regulated nationwide, like gasoline. Or society collapses and they can kiss my asses because the seed has been freed. Prepare now to grow later. International appeal stops 5G on Earth and in space. There are now 63,000 signatories from 168 countries as of March 29, 2019. The UN, World Health Organization, and European Union, Council of Europe and Governments of All Nations. We, the undersigned scientists and doctors, environmental organizations and citizens, urgently call for a halt to the development of 5G. <coughs> Why? <laughs> Why not? Why would we? Now, if you haven't been following this show for the entire time, I want to tell you a few things. Lithium ion batteries are unsafe and you will die. If not from the fumes, from the fire. Here we're looking at Tesla one of their vehicles parked in a lot and there's no one in it thankfully but the Audi next to it oh my gosh he needs new tires and Leah almost needed a new life when one of her vape batteries exploded in her face that was last year it was a close call we've been working on that but before we get to the solution, which is permaculture, the solution to all of our problems is proper prior preparation. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance anytime. And permaculture and its principles were introduced back in the 70s by Mollison and others. And they fell by the wayside. And now they're coming back into fad and fashion. But by not by enough people. The tipping point has not been reached. That's 2% of the population. That's millions of people. And millions of people do not know about permaculture. And are not implementing it in their daily routine. And part of our new updates is going to be the strain of the day. Which is race full, race fuel. Race full, OG. Race full or race fuel OG is a cross between the long loved OG Kush and face off 
indica, OG. And when you combine these two togethers, together, you get race fuel by archive seeds, a potent hybrid steeped in grassy, earthy genetics, gassy, my bad, created from the high octane OG phenotype of OG Kush, crossed with face off OG indica. Race Fuel OG harnesses the intense diesel fuel aroma of high octane while incorporating the deep body effects as well as citrus and pine aromas from the terpenes from Face Off OG, which is not only cancer eliminating and medicine, but Race Fuel Strong OG Kush Backbone gives it mid range potency with flavor to spare. Holy. The strain's effect hits with a rush of energy to the head and settles down into a cozy weighted stone that can help abate anxiety, ADD, minor pain, and lack of appetite. Boom! Race Fuel OG 4.7. It's the strain of the day. Permaculture is the solution. You don't have a snail problem, you have a duck deficiency. Your thinking is wrong. This is a permaculture principle in a nutshell, summed up in one of Bill Mollison's most popular quotes. <clears throat> now, if you see yourself confronted with a perceived problem, why not try and look at the situation from a different angle? Sometimes the angle of the dangle is the schmangle of your schmangle. Is there any way to use it to your advantage? A common example for this permaculture principle, one that you will find cited in many books, is this. That a low-lying spot at the bottom end of your garden is a muddy schmuck spot that never grows. Maybe that's the spot for your pond. Or a bog garden with a swamp plant. How about growing watercress or water chestnuts? Or kayaking in your backyard? That's not what it says. Water spinach. Kayango. How about an iris? The permaculture principle of turning problems into solutions goes hand in hand with one of the main ideas at the core of permaculture, working with nature rather than against it. Now, I've been preaching these principles all of my life, but in the last four or five years, the clarity is, is very clear. A lot of people set goals and they stick to it. And they encounter all these problems and they wonder why they never reach their goal. That's because they do not capitalize on the quote unquote problems. You see, these problems could be solutions. And what I mean by that is they can change the direction of your goal. You can use problems to your advantage. You want to incorporate the negative as a positive. You don't have a snail problem. You have a duck deficiency. Get with the program. It's time to grow food. <laughs> if for nothing else to feed your family. If for nothing else to learn how to fail, fail at growing food so that you can prosper at it. Many people are born with a green thumb, but it's just a few percent of the population. The rest of us have to learn by example and failure. The most important thing I know at my age of 47 is I don't know anything. Back when I was 35, I thought I was a genius. When I was 27, I knew everything. With wisdom comes knowledge. The knowledge that all of the information I have ever learned is insignificant when I counter it with all the information that I am unaware of. The more I know, the less I know. But I do know that 
certain mantras exist, like proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Learn to grow food because water grows trees. And it also keeps you alive for up to 27 days without food. And some trees make vitamin C, like even pine trees, and you can eat those and drink the, the tea of the needles. But we're mucked. We've mucked it up. The planet is completely mucked up. Fracking, oil and gas extraction, pesticide use, global war, famine, unrest. It's all coming. Nuclear warheads, nuclear waste, nuclear meltdown, deep water well injection, glyphosate runoff, 2,4-D, other toxic chemicals like milestone leached into the waterways, red tide, huge plastic swirls. It's totally mucked. Deforesting Brazil for palm oil, glyphosate in every processed food that you own and eat. Anything you can afford is poison. But if you grow it with a little water, you might get a tree and then you could get some spinach maybe even a butter crunch lettuce like we're looking at and it could be the greatest day of your life when the water hits your mouth and you're part and then you have, and then you're hydrated and then the plant grows out of your neck what comes next i mean it's all mucked up is there a solution yeah it's knowledge share this knowledge with others learn to grow food Learn to save yourself. Learn to feed your neighbors. Learn how to grow in excess. Dehydrate. Stockpile. Wild mushroom powder. How about nettle power? Stinging nettle can be collected by the hundreds of pounds in the spring, in the summer. Dried. Dehydrated. Put in a bucket. It can last for 25 years. It could save an entire community. Are you listening? We love you. Keep watching. Share this with like-minded people. We want the community to grow. Join us at LeeCon. By the live stream. You're in the right place. We love each and every one of you. Share this with like-minded people. Without you, we will not grow. Be safe. We love you.